grasslands receive a fair amount of rain, but it is seasonal and there are long periods of drought every year. A drought is a long period of time where an area receives little to no rainfall. Both savannas and prairies are types of grasslands that undergo yearly droughts. The long, narrow leaves, or blades of grass, keep the grass from losing too much water. This is very important during a drought. Plants that live in savannas and prairies often have very deep roots. These deep roots can help them reach water that's deep underground during a period of drought. The deep roots of grasses also keep them from being pulled out of the ground as they're eaten by herbivores. Grasses are very hardy plants that can quickly recover and regrow even after being trampled or eaten by animals. There are some trees that grow in grasslands, particularly the tropical grasslands we call savannas. Some of these trees store water inside of thick trunks. This adaptation allows these large plants to survive during long periods of drought. In grasslands, some animals are very small, and this adaptation allows them to hide in the grass. These animals are also often brown or green, which allows them to blend in and hide in the grass much easier. Other animals live in large herds for protection. The animals in a herd can alert each other to danger, and they can work together to protect their young. These large herds will often migrate long distances during a drought. By migrating across the grassland, these animals are able to move to where water is more plentiful. And because trees are scarce in a grassland, there's very few places for large animals to hide. With nowhere to hide, being able to run very quickly can give an animal an advantage. This adaptation can be found in both predators and prey, and the fastest animals in the world are found in the grasslands.